Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. What's up, YouTube? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts. I have a simple device here. I want to show you how neat this is. Um, this is the MFJ347. And what this basically, it's a simple idea really. What this basically is, they call it a double T pipe mount. What this is, is a way to make a horizontal dipole using two ham sticks or a vertical dipole using two ham sticks. I tried this out at field day, I got a little bit of footage on that. Uh, but basically I could put a 20 meter ham stick here and a 20 meter ham stick on the other side and have a half wave dipole that I can rotate manually or automatically with a rotator and tripod. Uh, easy to set up in the field for field day. That's why I brought it for field day. Um, a very simple design but really effective. Uh, if I wanted to use this on say 6 meters FM, I could turn, take these bolts out, turn this plate 90 degrees, mount it vertically, attach the coax, and then have one 6 meter ham stick going down and one 6 meter ham stick going up. Um, so let me, I have a little bit of footage from field day. I had it on the, the M7 rotator and tripod, uh, but let me uh, show you what I do with it here, give you an idea. So here's the MFJ field deployable tripod, and I got the Ham 7 on top of it. And up on top, if I can zoom in, we have a Jan KK4GGJ brought this mount here. The mount is basically two ham sticks that are 20 meters. So now it's a rotatable dipole uh, on the rotor. I got it anchored because it's a little windy down here with a gas can and a bungee cord. There it is. Did well on the water here. Look at the view. Look at the water. Perfect, uh, perfect uh, place to put an antenna up, right on the water. Got the ground rod stuck in the water there. All right, so you get a pipe. I'm using PVC pipe because it's cheap. So torque the bolts down on there, okay? Uh, PVC pipe or metal pipe. I wouldn't use metal pipe. I would use something to insulate this from the metal, okay? Um, and then what I have here, I have two 11-meter... CB antennas that I cut down for 10. Now I had these working on 10 meter FM in my vehicle and uh, it was working rather well. I, I did some uh, major FM contacts on 10 meters but I took the radiator off, I snipped it down a little bit and then I adjusted uh, in or out with the Allen screw here to tune it on 10 meters which is a little bit shorter than 11. So uh, I have two of these and I got these at a ham, you can get these at ham fest for like three or four bucks. All right, so very, very cheap and inexpensive. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of antenna you use if you don't have two matched antennas because as long as they're cut to frequency and tuned for that frequency, it's going to work. So I have one screwed in here. And this being the post that the SO239 is connected to, so this is going to be the center of the coax or the center pin of the connector is feeding this element. And then here's my other one. And this is going to go in the second one. So this would be the shield of the coax or the ground or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So there you have it. Very simple, right? A horizontal dipole, half wave for 10 meters. Now, when you do, when you, if you ask why would you do that? Well, if you have something like this, and I'm facing this north and south, or I say facing, if it's oriented long ways north and south, my directional lobes are going to be off the east and the west, or west and the east, okay? Uh, it gives you a little more gain. When I say gain, it's not amplifying anything. All it's doing is directing a little more power off the broad side, which makes it somewhat directional for receive and transmit. Yeah, so if I just hit the left or right, I could rotate it. I'd say it moves at uh, well over one revolution per minute. All right. 
programmable memory, I push memory one, automatically goes where I set that memory. So if I have a station in Europe that I, I know which the direction is, I just hit the memory and set it. And then I end up facing Europe. It's that simple. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was a little bit uh, entertaining. I mean, it doesn't take much, and a lot of money, to make a somewhat decent antenna out there. There's hardware available. There's antennas available at HamFest for dirt cheap. That's why I go to HamFest and pick up sticks like this for cheap. Um, and a lot of guys laugh and they say, ha oh, oh, ha, it must be a CB. Or you know what? I've made better contacts on these cheap ham fest antennas than I have on some commercially made 10 meter antennas that I've bought. Check out my video on how I made a 20 meter ham stick a 10 meter ham stick. That was a $3 find at a ham fest. Actually, the same ham fest I got this at. So, 7 3, thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos from KJ4YZI.